From the Target 12 investigators, a COVID-19 controversy brewing in Cranston. The dispute involves quarantine time for firefighters potentially exposed to the virus. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details. Both sides of this dispute insist they are following COVID-19 protocol, but their interpretations are days apart. After four Cranston firefighters tested positive, the fire department instituted a policy allowing about 40 exposed firefighters to wait five days before they were tested to allow for an incubation period for the virus. Those firefighters also remained off duty until the results were back for a total quarantine time of about nine days. Mayor Alan Fung tells us the city's main concern is the first responders' health, but he says Department of Health guidelines call for testing as soon as possible and for anyone without symptoms to report to duty while they wait for results. You can't have 41 individuals out at the same time who are not showing any symptoms. You know, a fire department uh, can't operate that way. We can't isolate six feet from each other. Union President we're, we're, Scott we're, we're, Robinson we're, we're, says the Department of Health calls for shortening quarantine time if there is a problem filling fire department shifts. He tells us that is not the case in Cranston and points out firefighters live together, work beside each other on rescue calls, and share sound baffling headsets and air tanks. If I'm breathing and I have uh, COVID and it's passed respiratorily, then it's going to get into the regulator as well. And we share that bottle. We don't each have our own regulator and bottle. We each only have our own mask. According to Fung, the department is taking precautions to make sure firefighters are virus free, including taking their temperature at the start of their shift and every four hours after that. And he says the cost of filling shifts of asymptomatic firefighters is definitely a concern. We have to make sure that we have enough bodies there or else we're going to come into overtime costs. It really does hurt the firefighters that are saying, well, you're putting me at risk working with somebody that could be positive, And then you're sending me home to my family. The two sides say they will continue to work together to try to settle the dispute. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.